Hello everyone, hope y'all are having an amazing day so far. This is GIS Mapper Liz and a question that someone asked was how do you publish image services to ArcGIS Online? I have created a video for um, publishing image services to ArcGIS Enterprise where you need an image server. So what if you, your organization doesn't have an image server? In that case, ArcGIS Online does have a add-on license for ArcGIS image. So it will be in your organization licenses tab. As long as you have the privileges to see this, I'll go ahead and do a control find ArcGIS image, and you can see the ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online. So for those who want to use the imagery capabilities of ArcGIS Online, you're going to need this license. So if you go ahead and click manage, then you can assign that license. And once that is good to go, we can go to your content in ArcGIS Online and select a new item option and imagery layer. Okay, once you select the imagery layer, you can choose between having a tiled imagery layer, which is static, and then having a dynamic imagery layer, which is more of like the data is being referenced in a way. So it's going to be dynamic with any type of server processing, and it's not just pictures like it is for the tiled imagery layer. Next, we'll click, I'm going to use a one image. You can have mosaic image or you can have like multiple imagery layers. And then I'll go ahead and browse to my actual raster. And we'll wait for this to complete here, then click next. I'm just going to leave the name as is. This is just a digital elevation model I have. I'm just going to give it test, test, create. Okay, so it's almost done now with 99.9%. .9%. Okay, so here's the finished product. I have the tiled imagery layer hosted. I can go ahead and open it up in Map Viewer and we can take a look at the completed imagery image service here. Yep, so that's how you publish to ArcGIS Online for an image service. Here are some documentations I'm going to provide in the details below. So this one goes over ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online implementation. So actually setting it up, what does it require? And then this documentation goes over getting to know the actual product and knowing ArcGIS image for ArcGIS Online. And then finally, here is a blog going over the different capabilities of ArcGIS image, how you can use it in your organization, etc. So thank you everyone for joining me today. If you do have any questions, hit me up in the chat. I can create videos for different questions. So always happy to help. Take care.